Welcome back, friends. Hello. It is another Timu haul. All right. This one I have been waiting for because this one has very interesting things in it. So remember, if you want links to any items that you see, just put a comment down. Ask me, hey, can you link the blobbity bloop? Uh, if you can give me a timestamp, that would be helpful, but you don't have to. Uh, nine times out of ten, I find them. And I will link it to you. Um, and don't forget, there is a coupon code. I'll put it up here. There is a link and a coupon code below. And just remember that this is for new orders, new app downloads, new... It has to be like, I don't know, there's a lot of rules to it, but... You get 50% off your order. So if you're brand new to Timu and you're like, I don't know if I should do this. This is like my eighth, seventh or eighth order. And I've never had a problem. I've had to return a couple of broken things. They do the return immediately. I get the money put back on my credit card in like five minutes. I'm not lying. It's super fast. So if you've never ordered Timu and you've been a little worried about it, 50% off is a great deal. You really do get 50% off, but it has to be a first time, first order, first download. So, but it's 50% off. So load the cart. Trust me. Because they don't give you 50% off very often. I struggle to get 20, 10, 15, $20 off. Usually the best I can do is eight or 12. So... This order, I'm very excited because this order has wallpaper in it. I know. I know. You're like, you ordered wallpaper from Timu? I did. I did. I wanted to see what it's like. Ooh. All right. Oh, I did cut that bag. Well, that's all right. Okay. So let's just look at this wallpaper. Oh, this is fabulous. This is so good. I'm gonna try to get a screenshot of this wallpaper and I'll put it up here, but so that you can see the, it's like a nighttime forest scene. There's like mushrooms and moths and owls. It's a little shiny. Um, let me open it. Okay, so I don't know if, can you see that it's like kind of shiny? It's got like an interesting sheen to it. See that? Which isn't bad. I'm not sure that I would want to use that as like actual wallpaper wallpaper. Uh, the interesting thing is there's foam in here, so it can't actually get crushed. So if you squeeze it, it bounces back because I was worried about it getting crushed in, you know, cause I mean, come on, I get stencils that are all crushed, but I have to say that's pretty impressive. So it is, it is a lot like contact paper. It's very plasticky. So this is basically contact paper, but you can see that it's got like rabbits and moths and owls and squirrels. So I got three of these and I got them to put on the back of a bookcase that I have. Um, and I wasn't sure how many I would need. I definitely didn't need three. Uh, maybe two was plenty, but it is contact paper. So I'm not sure that I would say that this is wallpaper. Um, it feels definitely like contact paper and not, it's a big, huge sticker. This is not wallpaper if you're expecting it to be paper. It's very sticky, super sticky. 
I can also cut these little, I can fussy cut these little guys out and use them in journaling. So that is a thing I can do. All right. So I got three rolls of wallpaper. They were $9 each, I think. So it wasn't cheap, but it is very nice um, contact paper. So, um, all right. And then these two things are, they're like door stops, but I got them to, they stack. Y'all are not going to be interested in this at all. Y'all are like, oh my God, what do you do with these and junk journaling? Nothing. Uh, I, they stack up like this. And so I got extras um, to use in my horse trailer because I have a door that rattles and scares one of my horses. So I'm hoping that I can, these are really like tough rubber. And so I'm hoping that I can put these in there and the door won't rattle and she won't freak out every time she gets in there because... Kind of a drama queen, that one. All right. Um, ooh, look at these. So these are 200 piece stone chip beads. Let's see if I can open this without them going anywhere. So they're just little beads, but they're like chips of stone. I've been waiting on these. These are gonna go on every dingle dangle I make. Uh, if you watched another haul video, I bought, I think a really tiny set of these. I think it was these. Um, and they were really beautiful. So I bought a larger version because the other ones are like teeny tiny. So that's a bigger version of those. Um, I had another haul video, I think, where I ordered this in a different color because they were sold out of black when I placed the original order, so I ordered it again. I went back and they had black. So, got a little bit of ribbon. Uh, I got this moth. It's got a skull. I got that for my nocturnal journal. Very excited about that. Um... Here's some more glass beads, just like an assortment of them. Let's open this and see. Oh, neat. Oh, some of the, those are really pretty. Some are like flower petals and flowers and leaves and hearts and stars and butterflies and yeah, those are nice. Well, she says as she throws them everywhere. There we go. Uh, oh, I got these charms. These are crows and skulls. Oh, these are great. I'm a little bummed that they're on gold and not silver. But I think that's okay. Those are fabulous. Very happy with those, for sure. Um, let's see, let's put all of this over here, and that, and that, and that, and that. Oh, yep. Let's get through the beads, and then we'll get through the junk journal supplies. Uh, and then I got these rectangular beads. Ooh, those are really pretty. Wow. Can you see the striations? Oh, that's nice. Those are beautiful. Cool. And they come with little spacer beads. Even better. Uh, I got these. Which is funny, because I have some that are similar to these that I got at Joann's or Michael's. But these are a little bit bigger. But those are cool. I like the milky striation through those. Oh my gosh, look at these little guys. These are just little stone beads. That's not a good view of them, so let's get them out and look at them properly. So these are just little stone beads. They're round. They're like, kind of like UFO shape, disc shaped. Oh, they're so pretty. 
that's just a dingle dangle by itself, isn't it? Okay, these I was really interested in. This is a total novelty that I bought just to be silly. They're supposed to be clouds or bubbles. They're just pieces of acrylic. My hands are a little dirty, sorry, but those are funny. I like those. Hee <laughs> hee. Those are cool. These are black and white beads, little guys. They're so little. They look almost like black eyed peas, don't they? Funny. Oh, those are so good. They are definitely a stone because they're cold. Uh, plastic is not cold. These are little plastic beads that have, these are acrylic with a little bee inside and they are heart, or flowers. But they have little bees inside. And they're actually way more colorful than they're showing up on the screen. Cool. Doo -doo -doo. I got these, which I may have gotten in a bigger size, but I got the smaller size of these. Oh, they're so pretty. I love those greens. Look at those. Again, these are a bit, yeah, they're a bit more colorful. Like this is not a dark forest green. It's more like a junipery green. I don't know if you can see better over here. Probably not, but those are cool. I'm glad some of these came in their own containers because I am almost out of containers. And then I got these, which are just like, they sold out on my other order and then I found them again on this order. Yeah, those are pretty, I like those. Um, Let's look at these charms, isn't it? charming these are just really cool like beach or water scenes but you gotta look closely because they all have a cat in them see the cat see the cat playing with the sun see the cat stretching the cat on this one, oh yeah, they're cats jumping on the waves. See, they're all little cats. Those are cats. I just loved them. I thought that they were really neat. So, gonna make some dingle dangles with those for sure. Those are fun. All right, uh, these are just findings. They're all different colors, just jump rings. I thought it'd be fun to have different colored jump rings. And then these, which are, I don't know. I do. Yes, I do. Oh, funny. These are owls. These are owl charms. I'm just going to pour them in here and we can all look at them together. Aren't they adorable? Oh, these are too cute. They're not all the same. These two are the same. So let's put that one back in there. Oh, these are great. All right, so I got a little owl charms and then these, 
this will come as a surprise to no one, are mushroom charms. So both of these I found after I placed one of my last orders and that's when I started this part. And then I went and looked at all the stuff that I couldn't get in the other orders and found it and here we are. Ugh. These are adorable. Oh, these are great. So good. I love those. All right. What about this stuff? Well, I did get some junk journal supplies. So one thing I got was I got Halloween washi tape. So this says happy Halloween. This one has little ghosts and candy. Oops, sorry. This one, this one's more floral fallish, which I really liked that I had that option. It was less Halloween. This one is jack-o'-lanterns and bats. Skeleton parts. Cats. Skulls. That's cool. Oh, I like those a lot. Cool, cool. All right, let's set those over there. This is also Halloween washi tape, but small width. This is more not necessarily Halloween. So it's got like, these are skulls, but they look, you know, they look like a pattern. These are spider webs. I think these are owls, maybe, feet. Ghosts, they're upside down, they're ghosts. See, ghosts. Y'all already knew that, didn't you? You were like, they're ghosts, they're ghosts, they're ghosts. Ghosts, lollipops, coffins, jack-o'-lantern faces, jack-o'-lanterns, spiders, bats, blood, candy. Oh, these are great, I really like these. Those are so good. Really happy with all of that. Um, the next, I'm gonna just get rid of this. And last but not least, so I was looking for, okay, let me tell you how my brain works. I click around on YouTube, I find somebody making something, they use a tool or, you know, a piece of ephemera or something. And I go, I need that. I want to make that thing. So I was watching somebody and they made a tag, I think. And they used a frame on it, like a pre-cut out frame. I think it was a Tim Holtz frame. And I was like, oh, that's what I can use those frames for. Cause I do have some frames. So I went to go recreate it and I had like five frames and I didn't like any of them. So I get on Timu and I, cause I had a cart going and I was like, well, let me look at these frames. And then I couldn't decide which frame I wanted because it's all online and you can't see them in person. They were like a dollar 58. So I was like, I'll just get all of them that look right and hope that it works out in my favor. So um, I got green ones. They also come with just regular stickers. I don't think that these are frames, but they look like rugs. There's a round frame. Uh, I could definitely cut these out to make a frame. Here's more frames. Those are pretty. Oh yeah. I like these. These are cool. Let go. Nope. All right. Uh, and then these like rug stickers, which, oh, there's a frame sticker. You know, you could write in this. Oh, but it's, they're washi. I think they're washi stickers. They feel like washi. No, they're just paper. 
Uh, I got green, blue, red, and blacks. Let's look at the blacks. And let's look at the black ones. Oh, yeah. Well, these are more like a dark brown. Not that I'm complaining, because what I originally wanted was brown, but it went out of stock. So these are actually perfect. So my plan is to use these on top of Tim Holtz, like snapshots or old pictures, stuff like that. Yeah, these are great. Yeah, I like these. I approve. Yeah, and then there's red and there's blue, which you can't really tell that it's blue. And then I got these and I did order two others, but they sold out of those. So I was like, eh, I don't need it. It's not that big of a deal. These are also stickers, I believe. Are they stickers? Hmm. Maybe they are, now they really feel like they might be a sticker. They are. Ooh, they are not. They are not a sticker. All right, they really feel like that they should be a sticker, but they are not, they are just paper. But these are like antique-y frames. Oh, there's a blue one in there. So that's cool. So I got those because that would be fun. And I do have all of that Tim Holtz ephemera that I need to get through. So, you know, it wouldn't be a Timu haul for me without some dang old stamps. So, here they are. I got some bug stamps. I know, I don't use stamps enough in my artwork to really uh, justify buying these many stamps. But in my defense, I forget that I have stamps. And I really need to remember that I have them. The mushrooms are really cool. I like the bugs. Not keen on the spider, but that's okay. I can deal with it. This one I thought was really neat because it needs to be cut, but it makes a license plate. But it does need to be cut, so I'll have to cut these all apart, but that's fine. That's what you get with Timu stamps. They're not pre-cut. If you want pre-cut and like super nice and pretty packaging and super fast shipping, you buy name brand stamps. Uh, the next thing I got, so you know, I have all those children's rhymes and books, ephemera. Well, you may not know because you may not, you may be new. And if you're new, hi, I'm Laura. This is the How Fast Crafter. Um, sorry, I didn't say all of that. I forget, I forget. I just forget. I'm not good at it. But uh, in one of my first Timu hauls, I got this ephemera paper pack that was like children's illustrations of old children's books. And in that vein, I found these stickers and they're, they're pet stickers. So they're shiny and, um, you know, plasticky, but that's fine. But I found these little stickers of old illustrations. And these are all cats, as you can see. And so I got all of these. I won't go through every single one of them. They're very good quality. They do have like a little fun outline that's kind of shimmery and iridescent gold. So that's fun. So I got a, a pack of cats and I got a pack of you guessed it if you said dogs. Yes. They did not have horses, so I did not get horses. But I have these, and they're like, you know, they're just like ch old children's books from like the 30s and 40s. I, they're just great. They're so good. And I think that they will be really cute on a children's book journal. So, and I bought a little golden book. I'm not sure if I said this, but I got a little golden book uh, at the thrift store to, it's a Raggedy Ann, 
an Andy book. And I got that to make like a little children's book journal in. So these will work in there. That'll be super cute. I'm very excited to try that. And last but not least, if you have watched my earlier videos, you may remember that I love a good collage kit. I have a video, I'll link it, which is all about how to do beginner collage fast and easy. And I'm telling you, the thing you want is a good collage kit. It has everything you need. All you need is an old book. You can glue the pages together. You need a glue stick and a collage kit. You can get started collaging and just start doing it. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't. No, nobody's putting any of this in a museum. So don't worry about it. You get a collage kit and you go for it. So I bought this collage kit, a similar one to this, but it was called like Romantic Encounter. And I didn't really like it all that much. Um, there were some things about it that I did like, but some things I didn't. The one thing that was really interesting is that it had a bunch of envelopes to cut out and fold and like tuck spots, which is super smart and cool. So I got this one, which is called Stars and Snowflakes. And I'm gonna try to zoom you in. There we go. So that you can see this because I think you want to. So this is a little envelope. These are little tuck spots. That's a little envelope, which you could just make into a tuck spot. Those are tuck spots. That's a little file folder. This is paper, 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 paper. And if you've watched any of my other videos, if you watch my Happy Mail video, I got some Happy Mail um, from a, a subscriber. Hi, Barb. And on that video, I also showed a junk journal that I bought from another subscriber. Hi, Kim. And, ooh, I hope I was in frame when I showed that paper. So, the journal that I got from Kim is the Pokey Little Puppy's, like, Wonderful Winter Day or something. And I thought this would be really cute to use in that journal. So, oh, these are great. Look at that. Those are really good. Uh, so I'm zoomed way in, so I may have messed this whole thing up and I might have to redo it. So these are little, just like little scraps of paper. And again, when you get a kit, you know, stuff's already cut up. Stuff's already, you know, this is cut to look like it, it was torn out. You don't have to worry about, oh, should I tear this? Should I tear that? Is it okay to cut this? It is okay to cut that. It's already done. You just glue it all together and you can just, you don't have to do anything. You don't even have to like ink the edges of it. Just put it down if you want. Um, and these kits are nice because they always come with some stickers. So there's some like woodland creature stickers. And then there's these stickers, which are like more woodland creatures. There's some tags, which are stickers. More tags, which are stickers. And this is like, supposed to be, I guess, washi tape-like. And then these are just different stickers. Oops. Okay, in case that was really bad, we're gonna do this again. So the cool thing is it comes with paper. So there's these papers. I'm holding them sideways so that you can see them because I'm zoomed way in. I guess I could hold them down here. This is like a file folder, maybe even a tuck spot. These are tuck spots. You cut them out and then you fold them. They have fold lines on them. You can see them. This is a envelope or a tuck spot, tuck spots, envelope. So hopefully that all stayed in frame pretty well, I hope. Okay. 
I hoop. All right, so my advice if you're just starting out is to get yourself a kit, even this small kit. I think that this is, I don't remember how much this was. Oh my gosh, you can even cut those out. Look at that, there's some fussy cuts. You could practice fussy cutting. Now I gotta go look at the back of my other kit and see if it's got something on the back. Um, but, you know, I think that this was like $4. And it's got everything, like, I plan to use most of this in one journal. So that's why I got it. And you can also use, you know, some of this stuff, so. All right, that's everything. Got some junk journal supplies. I got my stamps. I got a little bit of ribbon. I got some charms and you can't see any of this because let me zoom back out. Here we go. There's another stamp. Charms and beads and stamps. Oh my! Here we go. Thank you so much for watching my haul video. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to, if you're new and you're not sure if you want to try Timu, I highly recommend it. I know that I'm just a person on the internet, but click that link, download the app, get yourself 50% off, buy some stuff, see if you like it. I think that you will. It's decent quality stuff. Even my husband has stopped teasing me about buying Timu because he's like, well, the quality isn't actually that bad. Indeed it's not, sir. Indeed it's not. Have a wonderful day.